Welcome to Good Mythical More. When the zombie apocalypse hits, you better know who your squad is. So today, we're gonna each choose our squad, but every time we purchase somebody, we only got $10. Yeah. It blocks the other person out, so we're gonna draft our zombie apocalypse squads, and then we're going to try to um, kill each other. Yeah, right, then we're gonna start the apocalypse. But first, we're going to boogie down now! And then the beat drops. And then the beat drops. <laughs> beat never dropped. Y'all gotta be so subtle. Beat never dropped. <sighs> beat never dropped. I think when I told them about how I didn't want to injure myself during Boogie Down Now, they really yeah. responded. Rhett was I mean, complaining it might, about- Might be an overcorrection. I don't like Boogie Down Now because I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. Well, because I like to commit, and if I don't fully commit, then, you know. <sighs> um, what should we do here, Morgan? So, Is this in a good spot? Stevie, uh, <laughs> whoever goes first has an advantage. So we need, to, we need you to help us figure out who's gonna go first. But we're gonna do it where if uh, Link went first and then I went second, and then the next round I go first and he goes second. So it's, so it doesn't alternate, it's that by round each person goes first, which I think is how like the NBA All-Star Draft works, I'm and not the, sure. The last few times we've done this and more, uh, we've heard that like it's been too easy. So We're this one, yes, they do add up to $10, but it, go, it goes across categories. So there's a matrix here. We got brains, Brawn Entertainment and Wild Card column. Uh, you have ten dollars. So do I. So you want me to to? How are we going to determine toss? who's going okay. first? Yeah. I mean, you could, and this is a. It's just a pitch. Um, you could tell me, like, just give me a compliment, and then, and whoever has the better compliment could go first. Okay, Link, you go. You compliment first. <laughs> uh, Stevie, I just couldn't help but notice how uh, uniformly curtained your bangs were throughout oh, yeah. that entire uh, hosting experience. You know, wow. There's not many people who could keep uniformly curtained bangs like that. Uh, you're pretty much the only person I've known to not get gaps in her curtain. Wow. If you know what I mean. That was I. That was really. Uh, Right. I don't know how you're gonna beat that one. I'm gonna wake up at 3 a.m. thinking about your gapless curtain. Ah. Well, it's funny that Link mentions that because what I was gonna say is that, you know, during one of our stop downs, uh, as I was admiring your curtain bangs from a distance, I actually went on Amazon and ordered like $4,000 worth of curtains and I don't even have any windows to cover. What I'm saying is that I'm so impressed by your curtains that I'm literally just spending money on curtains I don't even need. That is, that is kind of dumb, isn't it, Stevie? Because you know he didn't actually do that. Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. my purchase history. But what I did. A, it was a good try, but I'm going to, Link, you, you get to go first. Okay. You know how important You get to pick Bear Grylls, unless you're an idiot. <laughs> well, Keanu over here. Yeah, I, I want to box you out of a, a $4 guy. Um, I mean, Mythbusters, you get two for one. Yeah, but I definitely got to go. I don't know, Keanu, I, he does his own stunts. He's a he's a positive force. Of course, the survivalist. A bit. I mean, I gotta go. I gotta go with Bear Grylls. So I'm gonna put a big, big L for a loser. No, sorry, sorry for that, Bear. That's I don't mean it in that way. Uh, can, you, can you see that? Do I need to be? Do I need to be orange or? Black? Okay, that's that. Yeah, maybe just maybe uh, reinforce little, it. Maybe re little, reinforce put a little, it. A little drop shadow on it. So. Clearly, that's the best choice, right? Because you've got somebody who's actually, and you don't have to start with four. I mean, you could go, you could get two people from two. No, because I can only pick one in this round, and then it goes back to me to pick the first in the next round. So I do get two picks in a row here. That is the advantage of going second. So you could pick two people from two. Uh, I could, and yes. over the course of time. Uh, but I am going to go with first. I'm going to go with Rihanna. Okay. Just because this might be my chance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
I don't know. I don't know it's exactly. How, I don't know how things are going to go down. I don't know the order of things. Uh, who's going to be around? And so, this could be my only opportunity. That's all I'm saying. Desperate situations call for desperate, de desperate measures. By opportunity, I think he means just to be in the same space. Right. Yes. As Rihanna. Uh, and so, could you give me a drop or shadow? Rihanna. On, could you give me a drop shadow on Rihanna I'm on the R? Be a nice. Uh, Okay, uh, and then I'm moving to the second round where I have the first pick to the second round. Who is Elizabeth Holmes? Who is that? She's the one who invented that thing that didn't work, the blood test thing that was a big documentary and it was in the news. Theranos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, but she's, I'm gonna so go she's with- She's an evil genius. You kind of want one of those. I'm gonna go with the Mythbusters. I know I'm seven, $7 in at this point, but oh, the wow. thing is, is that, yes, there are two of them and they're capable of engineering so many things. So like basically <laughs> weapons that we need to use against the zombies, we gotta like create defense mechanisms, etc. They actually might be a better choice than Bear Grylls later in the process, right? Because Bear's gonna be really useful right at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse when we're fighting for our lives. But when we gotta start defending ourselves and building things and like outsmarting people, I think the Mythbusters and Rihanna are really gonna be helpful. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't that ain't true. So, uh, Doctor Pimple Popper, uh, friend of the show, we had her on the show, um, but I, I can't watch any of her content. Right, yeah. boy, I can't. You know, it's just like constant gross out. Um, of course, she's a dermatologist in general. So, like in terms of like skin care in the apocalypse, it's like not many squads are going to have that cover. Well, and the zombie skin is horrible. You know, there's lots of things to pop on a zombie skin. Yeah. So I if mean, you get bitten, that back knee, you know where you're going first. Straight to her. I'm not gonna do that. Um, the Rock. The Rock will be great in a zombie apocalypse. Um, he's a positive energy too. You want to have someone around who like who will make you happy and who can just bring the pain if necessary. It's like an enforcer. Yeah, but what if he turns into a zombie? Oh crap! Now you got Rock the zombie. That that's a problem. I can't deal with you're that. You're gonna need a you're gonna need the Dude Perfect boys to help defend you against that. The thing about Dude Perfect, yeah, you get you, you get, get four, five carbon copy bearded white five, men yeah. for the price of one. You know, um, and they're they're good at a bunch of physical things. I mean, they can th uh, they can definitely throw things at zombies. They can run. From things, but they don't throw things that are lethal. They throw balls at things, and they and they probably need more tries than they actually show you in the in the final video. You think you've probably only got one try with a zombie? If you miss the first couple of times, Guy no Fieri could be the chef. Well, what about Josh? He's only one dollar. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what he also works out. Yeah, we haven't even talked about Josh yet. You guys just conveniently put him on row one with Nick Cage, Chris Angel, and Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> Nick Cage is such a loose cannon. I mean, he definitely is a wild card. He could, you want to have someone who's charismatic and who can be like the figurehead leader. I think so he, he becomes the target. He's gonna take up a lot of room though. He takes Nick a lot Cage of emotional take, space. takes a lot of air out of the room, if you know what I'm saying. And that's a distraction. Yeah, you don't know anybody like that. So even though I'm in charge of my squad, he's gonna think he's in charge and everyone else is too. So they're gonna go after him. Am I purple? Yes. So you're going with Nick Cage. I'm going with Nick Cage and I'm saving some money. I got a deal of $1 Nick Cage. I mean. Okay, and you've got the next pick. Pick one of round three. Yep, and now I'm gonna go. Hmm. Pitbull, he's always good at turning uh, negative to positive. That's his, one of his catchphrases. Negative to positive, negative to positive. Okay. Negative to positive, so he's a good hype man, he's good to have, he's good for morale. He's a motivator. He's good for morale, and um, yeah, he's kinda like, I make the decisions, but then he, he, he wraps it in a way that everyone says, great idea, great idea. That's, so, that's cool, man. So the politics of it all, that's I think, cool. Pitbull's gonna be good in navigating the positives, turning the negatives into positives. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick Dude Perfect for a strategic reason that I would like to explain. Okay. Because they will be throwing balls and they will be basically decoys. 
again, as we established, we don't know what's gonna happen. It's unpredictable. I chose Rihanna for a reason. I I wanna last a while, right? Because people are gonna be dropping like flies. And so the, op- the, the window of opportunity will be closing. So I've got to live for an extended period of time. You gotta be the last man on earth. Exactly, that might be the only way that this happens. So, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the Dude Perfect guys be my one at a time bodyguard, okay? You gonna keep the other ones in I'm gonna like, run a through cage? all of Dude Perfect, hoping that I'm the last man standing. So I've just got one guy with balls creating distractions constantly. Five, yeah, five for the price of one. You want me to drop shadow this? Uh, so here we go. So now what I'm I'm up to nine dollars. So I've got I'm is that right? Yeah, four, three, and two. So now in my next pick is a one dollar pick. And listen, Josh is a great cook. He's a he's a great friend. He works out. Josh is my final pick. We have lots of interesting conversations. What? This I would never a, pick Josh. This is a dream team. This is a dream team. Um, look at what I did there. That's cool. I totally, I think I'm going to do that all year. Oh, thank you for that. Look at that. Um, what is Chris Angel's dude situation? Dude, Chris Angel's dude situation? I mean, like, what is it? He, what, he, what's, what is this dude up to? Is when I was. Uh, Stevie, didn't you take a trip to Vegas and there was a oh. p- potential uh, Chris Angel show that yeah, was seen? Yeah, sorry, I didn't hear the he sh- cue is about he what shirtless? Chris Angel's up to. He's got long hair now. Did you um, Did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. Ha! Yeah, there's and? a lot. There's a lot going on. Let me tell you. What's the Chris Angel think, dude situation? I don't think that the show or choices that he makes in the show have changed since you know, 10 years ago when the show started. I'll say that. Okay. What has changed is that, you know, his his person, you know, over time we get older and we change. Our bodies change uh, and and that has happened. Okay. Um, But the choice in clothing has not changed, uh, et cetera. He has not adapted. His clothing has not adapted to the changes. Um, He's shirtless here. So just think about that. What Uh, was the best trick that he did? Listen, here's the thing. He's a good. I mean, he's really good. Illusionist. Uh, There's, there's, there's two that are really awesome. One, he does a lot of like walking in the air, and you cannot see anything holding him up at all, and it's very strange. And then also, there's um, a part where he's on stage. And then all of a sudden he's sitting in the audience, like within seconds, like back in the Teleportation. middle of the audience. Yeah. Whoa. I, th- I cool. that part is very cool. Sounds like a body double situation. You would think. Well, you could create one heck of a distraction with Chris Angel wa- just walking. Like the zombies won't know what to do. He just he just walks up above them. You know. And then he's also entertainment, but I already got Pitbull. I don't think they would get along, Pitbull and Chris Angel. Uh, yeah. While you're making that decision, I do want to remind you that you can get some mythical stuff over at Amazon.com slash mythical. Yes, there's a whole one-stop shop for a bunch of tech accessories, reissued designs, logo wear. If you like that fast, free shipping. Amazon Prime, Amazon.com slash mythical. Okay. I need some uh, some feminine energy. I need a strong leader. I'm I, so I'm going for Dr. Pimple Popper, and um, she's also going to keep all of our skin immaculate. Like this is a no brainer now that I've now that I've really thought about it. But she is make no mistake, she is in charge. Uh, Nick Cage thinks he's in charge. I thought I was going to be in charge. The doctor is is on call. You know what I'm saying? So she is in charge. So you got Bear Grylls, the Dr. Pimple Popper, right. Pitbull, Nick Cage. Everything goes better when a woman's in charge. Rhett, I'm looking at your group, and I got to say, I think Rihanna is miserable in this situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. She is. The Listen, myth busters. But you saw what I did. Perfect. You saw what I did. <laughs> Josh. I put myself with a lot of middle-aged white guys, and so I'm just thinking that, like, 
I might stand out in that group. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta worry about Josh a little bit. He's got a good body, uh, but I, you know what? It, so I gotta pick one. I more. don't know. I, I kind of feel like I, I feel like I no, could one, I could two, three, reason four. with Josh. So I'm good. You know? I'm good. You're not. Yeah, you're not. You're not in a good place. Oh, no, I think I, I'm in a great. I place. didn't even consider Lin Manuel Miranda, and I never will. <laughs> like I just don't. I don't like what he's done. Yeah, ask, for, ask, ask Link how he feels about Hamilton. I don't. I don't. I just don't like what. Ask Hamilton, him how he feels about it. I just don't like that contribution to the culture. Um, that's just not for me. That's my opinion. Okay. It's and it's just only my opinion, and I don't even feel uh, that strongly about as, as it seems I do. Right. I don't think I like the Property Brothers either. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But one of them really did improve his brand by marrying Zoe. Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. Really? Yeah, see, see, see your reaction? <laughs> what are the other ones? I mean, they could have built a nice shelter. I don't well, know, one of them is the builder, one of them is the, the, the real estate guy. The real estate guy, there's no, there's no buying and selling of homes in the apocalypse. It's just occupying abandoned ones. You don't need a realtor for that. Dr. Pimple Popper is gonna be really good with, like, she's not grossed out by anything. You know, zombies, who cares? Right. Who cares? She keep him. She keep him in a playpen. Well, if my crew meets your crew, well, I think we'll have a great time. Pitbulls doing the entertainment. I'm not. I'm not making Rihanna sing at all. I'm like, you're done with that. It's fine. You're not making her do anything. Hopefully, she's making you do stuff. Right. Shoot. Well, I'll do whatever she wants. I gather firewood. Yeah. Need mythical merch in a hurry? Try Amazon.com/slash/mythical for grooming, logo wear, and reissued designs delivered with lightning-fast Prime shipping.